How's it going guys? Back with the update on Spectral Helix Dead Eye Day 2 of the SSF reroll. First, I should mention the damage control post from Chris Wilson on the league launch um, is out. Um, it's it's pretty lengthy. I'm not going to read through it all. There, there's a lot of stuff here, so check that out if you have not seen it. But yeah, Special Helix, it's going okay. The, the big thing that happened today was I got a Blizzard Crown that I used my harvest craft for um, life reroll. I thought it was kind of strange that the life reroll is now on the red or purple craft rather than the yellow one like it was before. That seems strange. And like the physical ones on the yellow, like I, I don't know why they needed to change the colors that were associated with them um that one's sh this the, these being swapped is strange but yeah chaos is yellow instead of blue strange i don't i don't know i don't know if the patches come through to lower these the costs of stuff yet um the arch nemesis monster balance changes patch got pushed off till next monday or sunday in the u.s sometime so that's coming. Um, I got a, a slight upgrade in the claw I had from yesterday. So I put attack speed on this. So currently this sits at 28,369 DPS. It's 26,837. So it's not a huge upgrade and it's a loss in attack speed. But it wound up being slightly better. Um, so yeah, I'm still I'm still desperately need in need of a good weapon, um, and I'm starting to feel the wall um, in lower red maps. I'm starting to struggle there. Um, I'll show you how things are going. But the other big thing I found, I, I dropped a mark of submission ring, and here I am running elemental weakness, and I have my. Assassin's Mark with Mark on hit, so I'm dual cursed. It just kind of happens on its own. Um, and then I grab the additional curse with Whispers of Doom up here. Only 4,100 life for level 87. Uh, not super happy with that, but I am losing a lot of life on this ring. But I have decent life across my gear. Not like perfect rolls of anything. Um, and I opted for some flat lightning instead of life on the amulet but for the most part the life's pretty much there i don't know where else i would like to go to get life like these are kind of these nodes are kind of out here um like i literally have all of the life nodes that are easily accessible oh i guess there's these two there's two life nodes there the next closest it seems is almost like golem's blood or somehow push up to bravery but it came over here to get graceful assault this is giving me my onslaught um, so i'm not gonna have to run an onslaught flask and here i'm getting evasion as extra armor which i use this on like most of my builds um, as my source of like a bit of physical damage reduction and in turn for not running determination i I just like that better and there's potential here i could get blind just a bunch of crit chance against blinded enemies um 30 percent chance to blind on hit that'll help with accuracy um something like that might pair well with something like wind dancer but the way this build plays like it has really good clear but it takes a while for you to hit enemies that are farther away from you. And I feel like I get hit a lot. I did a poor choice and I died in that. So let's uh, run a map here. This one's got a harvest in it. So this is a T13 map. This one's easy. Okay. Sea Witches, Magic Monsters, and Feeble. This is good for like... Just... just something to refresh the mission 
Uh, so I don't know that I've even attempted a T13 map yet. And I also um, expected some shrine notes. So I haven't guaranteed at least one shrine. And I have all the like extra buffs for shrines, so I'm getting I'm gonna get an extra boost off of it. But like I feel like these these packs should be going down a little quicker. Maybe I don't have enough crit. Maybe uh, like I I know I just don't have a good enough weapon yet. Um, part of the reason I'm keeping harvest around. Eventually, once I find a good weapon, I'm going to want to put quality or elemental damage on it. So I'm going to need a lot of the blue life force. And then it comes down to the Arch Nemesis mods, which they're going to get nerfed in the next two or three days. So it's coming. They're, they're not going to be as bad. Hopefully. Luckily, this being like a tri-elemental build, um, a lot of the like generic resistance monsters aren't that bad. Yo, there's one of them. Like with my fire trap build, I've come across the flame weaver, flame strider, incendiary. Magma Barrier, all of them. Just like, okay, we don't take damage from fire anymore. It's nice that this build is handling them a little bit better. There's some things that still are kind of annoying, like life regen stuff. I've also picked up every rare call that's dropped like the entire time I've been in maps. I progressed fairly well. Like I'm, I'm getting up in the red maps, so I've gone pretty far with like the claw that dropped in like Act Ten or whatever, wherever it was. Not too many complaints about it. I know, I know, if I was in Trade League, I would just like purchase a um, better claw. I've dropped one Exalt and I dropped a Divine, and I got a Divine from a Ritual. I've kept rituals around because I was like, oh, well, Blizzard Crown's pretty good, and I have a six link Harbinger bow deferred in there at the moment, and it gave me a divine. I'm like, okay, fine. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Though, in the red maps with the, with the Arch Nemesis, it's, there's too, too much stuff. Even though, like, if I stand still and just get a lot of the Helix down, like, I can pretty much reach the entirety of the ritual but the rares get, just get to be a too too much so what i'm looking at probably um what i do before i go to sleep while the video is uploading i'm probably just gonna farm t10 maps just grind out try to find some kind of claw I, I am still like big in favor of the harvest change and the fact that I didn't have to spend ten minutes in there. Like I could go in, kill the monsters, pick the plots I want, just keep going. Ooh, a diamond flask. And my flasks are pretty bad. I think my crit chance I mean, my my base crit chance that it says here. 38% with the power charges up. I did drop the amulet. So I now have power and frenzy charge generation from this claw mastery. Um, doesn't work for bosses, but eventually once I can get the quality on Assassin's Mark, I will be able to get power charges against bosses. And then Assassin's Mark gives me base crit and Nightblade also gives me base crit I guess I guess that's during elusive yeah plus one base crit while elusive I want to see that so 30% crit without anything yeah okay that does not factor in to the crit chance shown on the 
character screen it doesn't look like so my crit's pretty up there but it still needs a little bit more tweaking if I get crit rolled on a decent weapon that would be nice but still seems like we're a ways out from that I would like to be in a situation where I could just start picking up white imperial claws and alking them in bulk but since I've been purchasing maps from Kirak um, and having to ALK maps that I'm going to run, like keeping ALKs is kind of an issue, though I haven't been running my lakes. I've been kind of stacking those because I've been more focused on trying to get the Atlas completion done as much as I can. All right. Portal just in case. This is Fizz damage. Now, I'm not entirely sure how the far shot works. Like, I'm imagining it's like distance from where you use the skill to where it hits the enemy. So if I'm hitting an enemy from further away, like as the helix expands, I think that is where I'm getting the bonus damage from far shot. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I don't think it's distance around the spiral that it traveled. I think it's, like, distance from you. So it's kind, it kind of works the same way, but it's just, like, the final ring rather than, like, the very end of its projectile. If I understand it correctly. So it, it definitely feels like I can do more damage when I'm just, like, running around, like, spamming the skill. Um than if I'm just like face tanking a boss, dropping the elixirs on it. Oh yeah, I need more damage. Definitely do. And it also feels like I need more life too, so I don't know. Glove, gloves don't have a ton of damage. I don't have a ton of damage on my rings. If I find a good enough ring, maybe I drop the, the mark of submission. And then maybe I could get away with using a hex touch on the tornado or the uh, hydrosphere. That might be able to open up a ring slot. That would give a bunch more damage potential there. But I'm I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. I like I don't, I probably wouldn't be able to run this map if I didn't have the Blizzard Crown at this point. I'm also not spell suppression capped either. I think I'm 88% while on full life. So if I drop full life, okay. So Flask is giving me 10. So I'm at 78. While on full life, 68 while not, and another 10 with the flask. That could definitely be better. I think eventually as well, I'd like to kind of break away from the armor evasion gear and try to go for evasion ES gear and go for the ghost shrouds. The ES gain. And then I could, as long as I still have enough evasion on my gear, I could still benefit enough from the evasion as extra armor, especially since I'm running Grace. But yeah, this this fight is just taking too long, and that that like straight up like this is like 100% showcase of why I do not like to start it like League start attack builds. Because, like, I have to stop and grind for a weapon upgrade rather than just grind out gym level. If, if all I needed was, like, more XP at this point, like, I get... I, that's, a, that's a little bit simpler. I just need to grind out a gym level, 
Um, getting myself a five link would be nice as well, though I, do, I still haven't gotten a base that I'd be happy with attempting to link with my limited number of fusings at the moment. So that is where we're at. Hopefully tomorrow I have some flask upgrades and we start piecing things together. Um, and I, I am still kind of relying on Chaos Res from here. I'd, I would like to remove these nodes if possible, but I do need at least positive Chaos Res if I'm going to be fighting like swarms of abyss. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got for today. I'll keep pushing on this. Um, my brother is coming home this weekend and he wants to play Diablo 3 on the Xbox and he told me he was going to purchase the Necromancer, which I have not done on that. We were playing that a little bit before I got my new computer. Um, so I'm probably going to humor him on that, um, especially since we have to wait till Monday for the Arch Nemesis patch. Though, I am still going to be trying to push um, up here, but there's still level 97. Like, as long as I can get a good weapon, like I'm ready to fly. So, not too worried about that at the moment, unless one of them starts to go crazy with the grind. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon just below the video, or by joining to become a member. And I will see y'all in the next one. Cheers.